first on four, Indian Lakes embattled police chief is releasing video exclusively to Action 4 News to prove he's innocent. That's right, John Chambers turned himself in last week following an indictment on two counts of official oppression and filing a false police report charges. Now, it all stems from an incident with an ex-employee who was fired from his wife's private security guard company. Now, tonight, you'll see the secret recording on just one station. Why, why would you tell me that your well, is because yours? This four minute and two second video is secretly recorded back in June by John Chambers. No need for the, no need for that. the Indian Lake Police Chief says it shows a portion of the confrontation between himself, his wife Christina, and a former employee of a private security guard company who we aren't identifying. Chambers is accused of using his power as a police chief to help recover his father-in-law's truck, reported stolen just two weeks earlier. The incident with the terminated employee takes takes place in a nearby community of Lorellis. Chambers, who says he's dressed in a yellow shirt and blue jeans without a gun, badge, or handcuffs on him, believes his cell phone video proves he did nothing criminal. The point was, you me and him, yeah. And you did it, and you still haven't done it, so now I'm gonna take charge, okay? Give me the f***ing truck. I already called the sheriff's department. If you don't give it to me, I'm gonna press charges, and you're gonna go to town, that's it. Bro, I made the arrangement with you. Can't make arrangements with him. It's not his. He said that truck was his. No, I don't it's not under his name. Then why? Are you, why would you tell me that truck was his? Because yours. they were selling the truck to me. But if you're not going to pay for it, you haven't paid me. It's been over a year, and you haven't. Yeah, but there's me. no need for the handcuffs. There's no need for all that. But well, there's no need for you to hide it either. I'm not hiding it. Well, I'll be staying here. I'll be staying here. I'll be staying here. Okay. Let's go get it right now. Well, get it. Oh, I'm just staying here. So we'll get the truck. I don't want to wait. A Cameron County Sheriff deputy arrives on the scene shortly after. Chambers says he turned over the video, which he says shows that he never acted in a law enforcement capacity to investigators. Whether or not a grand jury saw the video remains a mystery. He was indicted on two counts of official oppression and filing a false police report charges. Now, he believes the charges are politically motivated because he plans to run for Cameron County Sheriff as a Republican candidate in 2016. Sheriff Omar Lucio denies that, saying he has no axe to grind, and a grand jury of 12 indicted him, not him.